hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet and now let's solve these two problems which says that if 80 newton uh, f is equal to 80 newton determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the couple moment the pipe assembly lies in the xy plane and in the second problem it is said that if the magnitude of the couple moment acting on the pipe assembly is 50 newton meter determine the magnitude of the couple force applied to each wrench the pipe assembly lies in the xy plane so to solve both of these problems we have to find out the uh cut the generalized cartesian uh, vector for the couple moment and then we will uh, put this f value for the solution of 492 and then we will use this value for finding the value of f for the second problem now since uh, we are given a couple this f and minus f they are producing a couple moment so as we have already discussed that a couple moment can be determined uh, from any point on the given assembly so we can take any point about which we can find the couple moment so to find the couple moment i will select this particular point where this f x uh, is acting right so let's say that this particular point is let's say the the point of application of this force is let's say point a and the point of application of this force is let's say b so we want we want to find the moment about this point a so if you want to find the moment about point a then this force f is passing through this point a so its moment arm from this point a is zero and it's not going to produce the moment about point a so we are we will only use this force f uh, in our calculation to find the couple moment so we can say that the couple moment the couple moment cartesian vector this is equal to r cross f and we are going to use this f since this f is passing to this point a so this couple moment will be equal to the moment about point a and for to find to in order to determine this cross product we have to define the position vector which which will be considered as the moment arm for this particular f so we can consider the uh, position vector from a to be as a moment arm for this force f for this force f so let's say that this is our position vector from a to b which we will take as a moment arm this will be the position vector from a to b so we will write that the position vector from a to b cross product with that force f so now first of all in order to find this first of all we have to find the position vector from a to b so now we can write that the position vector from a to b now the distance between both of these forces along the x-axis is, is how much so this point b is at a distance of 300 and this point a is at a distance of 200 so 300 minus 200 this gives us 100 so this means that point a and b uh, are 100 mm distance apart along the x so we will write that this is 100 100 mm along the x so we will write that this is 100 i similarly this point a and b this point a and b are 300 plus 200 mm apart along the y direction so the distance between both of these forces along the y axis is 500 mm so i will write plus 500 500 j and point a and b they lie in the xy plane so uh, there is no distance between point a and b along the z axis so we will write plus zero k now we can find this position vector by using that one another method that we have already discussed uh, so far so in order to write the position vector uh, we need to travel along the x y and z from a to reach that point b so from a we need to travel this 200 mm distance in the negative i i will write minus 200 i then from here we need to travel 300 in the positive j so plus 300 in the positive j then from here we need to travel uh 300 mm in the positive i so i will write plus 300 and then once we reach here we need to travel 200 mm in the positive j this is in the positive j so plus 200 
and there is no need to travel along the k direction since point a and b are in the same plane so we will write that this is 0 k so now if we simplify this this is uh, minus 200 plus 300 so this is 100 and this is 500 and 0 k so we will get that same position vector from a to b so this is the position vector from a to b and if and the units of this position vector is in mm so now in the problem statement in the second problem is it is the magnitude of the couple moment is given in newton meters so we need to convert this into meters so we will divide all of these by thousand in order to convert it into meters so if i divide this hundred by thousand so this will give me uh, 0 0.1 I 500 divided by 1000 is 0 0.5 J plus 0 K and this will be in meters now the next step is to represent this force F as a Cartesian vector so since this force F is only acting along the positive Z so it's I and J components are 0 so we will write that <clears throat> this F Cartesian vector is 0 I plus 0 J plus F K since we are considering that its magnitude is f so we will write that this is plus fk now we can find this determinant i will write that this is i j and k so then we will write the components of the position vector from a to b which is 0 0.1 0 0.5 and 0 this is 0 0.1 0 0.5 and 0 and the components of force f is 0 0 and f so now we are going to find this determinant which will give us the Cartesian uh, vector representation of that couple moment or we will get the Cartesian vector of that couple moment. So in order to find the determinant using this element of the matrix, we are going to hide this row and this column. So this is 0 0.5 F minus 0 I. So I will write 0 0.5 I and this is plus. Similarly for J, we need to hide this row and this column. And with J, we always have minus while finding the determinant so minus j 0 0.1 into f so minus 0 0.1 into f minus 0 so we will have minus 0 0.1 into f and this is in the j and now for k we need to hide this row this column 0 minus 0 so this will be 0 k so plus 0 k now this is the generalized cartesian vector for that couple moment now in problem 492, 492, it is said that force F is equal to 80 Newton. So now we, we need to substitute this 80 Newton in this equation. Uh, so we will have the couple moment vector that will be equal to, uh, remember that here we have 0 0.5 F. This is 0 0.5 F. We need hide this and this is 0 0.5 F minus 0. This is 0 0.5 F. So we will write plus 0 0.5 into F, which is now 80 given minus 0 0.1 into 80 plus 0 K. This is plus uh, J. So now 0 0.5 into 80 is 40 I and 0 0.1 into 80 is 8 plus 0 K. So this is the Cartesian vector of that couple moment. Now we are asked to find uh, the magnitude and coordinate direction angle of the couple moment. So the magnitude is, we can find the magnitude by using the Pythagoras theorem. So that is equal to 40 square plus 8 square plus 0 square. So this will give us um, 40 square plus 8 square plus 0 square. This gives us 40.792. So this is the magnitude is 40.792. The units will be in Newton meter since the force is given in Newton. And the position vector that we have considered is in meters. So this is in Newton meters. And similarly, the units of this Cartesian vector is also in Newton meters. Now in problem 492, we are asked to determine the coordinate direction angles. So we can always write the Cartesian vector in terms of the coordinate direction angles so we can write this MC is uh, MC magnitude cause of alpha I plus MC magnitude cause of beta J plus MC magnitude cause of 
gamma k. Now we will compare this Cartesian vector and this Cartesian vector. So from this we can say that mc cos of alpha equals to 40, mc cos of beta equal to minus 8, mc cos of gamma equals to 0. So from this we can write that mc magnitude cos of alpha equals to plus 40 and from this if we divide both sides of equation by this magnitude so cos of alpha will be the ratio of uh, the x component of mc divided by its magnitude similarly if we compare both of these so cos of beta will be equal to this minus 8 divided by this magnitude and cos of gamma will be this magnitude divided by this magnitude so from this we can write that cos of alpha is 40 divided by mc magnitude which is 40.792 similarly cos of beta is equal to uh, this y component that is minus 8 divided by the mc magnitude which is 40.792 and similarly we can write that cos of gamma is 0 divided by 40.792 now from this we can write that alpha is cos inverse of this ratio so let's find this this is cos inverse cos inverse of 40 divided by 40.792 this gives us alpha equals to 11.31 degrees let's see similarly beta will be cos inverse uh, equals to minus 8 divided by 40.792 this gives us beta equals to 101.31 degrees and similarly for gamma that is um, cos inverse 0 divided by that magnitude so that gives us 90 so gamma is equal to 90 degrees. So for for the solution of problem 492, the uh, the magnitude is 40.792, and this MC vector is making 11.31 degrees with the x-axis, 101.31 degrees with the y-axis, and 90 degrees with the z-axis. Similarly, for the solution of uh, problem 493, it is said that if the magnitude of the couple moment acting on the pipe assembly is 50 newton meter, now in In problem 493, we are given that the magnitude of the couple moment is equal to 50 newton meter. And we are asked to find the force magnitude. Now, <clears throat> since we have this generalized Cartesian vector, so we can always find the magnitude using these components. So we can write that that will be the magnitude will be equal to. 0 0.5 f square plus 0 0.1 f square plus 0 square under the square root and in the problem statement we are given that this is equal to 50 50 newton meter so now if i take square on both side of equation so square root will cancel out we can write that this is 0 0.5 square f square plus 0 0.1 square f square and 0 square is 0 this is equal to 50 square now we can take uh, f common from both of these terms f square common from both of these terms so i can write that this is f square into 0 0.5 square plus 0 0.1 square this is equal to 50 square and from this f square is equal to 50 square divided by 0 0.5 square plus 0 0.1 square and then we can take the square root on both side of equation so this will cancel out so this will give us the force magnitude when couple moment is 50 newton meter so this is square root 50 square divided by 0 0.5 square plus 0 0.1 square and this is equal to the force magnitude is equal to 98.06 newtons so this is the solution of these two problems i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning do subscribe in genius academy for the solution of such more problems from hibler statics